There we go. I was on mute. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to remove this camera. one okay <laughs> that'll work so we're making rabbit today and sorry I was trying to like be really tech savvy and use two cameras but um, it's not working well so we'll just go with this one um let's see if our rabbit is thawed Fingers crossed. So this is just casual, guys. Very low production value. Just wanted to hang out with people today. All right. Feels pretty good. That's our bad boy. It's from Valley Rabbits here in Washington. And I'm going to put him in some cold water for now so he thaws up a little bit more. Hey, y'all. What is going on? Um, I am cooking rabbit for Easter because I like rabbit and I thought it would be funny. It is groovy. Um, so the recipe I'm using calls for three rabbits approximately four pounds in total but I only needed one rabbit this bad boy is uh four pounds six ounces welcome Bonnie welcome Brandy yeah sorry for the technical issues at the beginning but it is what it is I just wanted to test it out and I figured since this isn't serious why not Hi, Trevor. And I do have some grape juice for myself, for the book. All right, let's see what we need to do. I could print these off and my printer is getting clean in the butt. It's just not a good day for tech. Okay, so I have to soak our shallots in boiling water for five minutes. Okay, then I will get some water boiling. Because I'm only able to use one camera, you guys can just talk amongst yourselves when I'm off screen, I guess. Again, we're just chilling. Okay, we're getting the water boiling. Ooh, I should, for our salad, I need to roast the beets. So, ugh. It's one of those recipes where the person tells you their life story before you get to the actual recipe. <laughs> okay, actually they want me to roast the asparagus first because it's a cold salad with roasted veggies. So I'm going to preheat the oven to 400. I'll bring you with me. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Come on. All right. And then I suppose I should get the asparagus, right? I saw, um, Groovy, you said you never figured out how to cook asparagus. I usually just roast it. Uh, you rinse it, 
snap the end off and you just roast it really quick. Um, this recipe has me putting the oven at 400 and it says to just roast it for four to five minutes. So it's pretty quick. Trying to stay in view while cooking. It's not working. All right. Let's rinse our asparagus. Need more water for the rabbit, I think. Get it off. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. So usually I just roast the whole spears, but I think they want us to cut this up. Yeah, bye. Not this cold water. Fry asparagus. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, olive oil, salt and pepper. I don't usually put lemon juice on it, but um, you could definitely do that. Um, all right. You want me to cut it into two inch long pieces. All right, we're gonna need a cutting board for that. Yeah, I wish I could get different camera angles in, because then you could see the food, but whatever. I'm just happy you guys are hanging with me. It's nice. So yeah, you just kind of feel it groovy and it snaps off where it naturally should. Yes, it does make your urine smell. It's what, aspartic acid. It's good stuff. Happy Easter, Jimmy. So somebody else uses balsamic on their asparagus. I love balsamic vinegar. I started cooking with it maybe 10 years ago. And why have I never used this before? So good. I think the first thing I ever made with balsamic vinegar was pretty simple. It's like fresh mozzarella and tomatoes. And my son was pretty little at the time. It's 10 years ago, so he must have been like six. Uh, he loved it so much, he asked for a piece of bread to sop up the vinegar. <laughs> it's like, all right, this is a winner. Let's see. Neil cuts it into bite-sized pieces, rolls it in flour, cast iron skillet. Mm. Ooh, bacon, yes. I think I've done bacon wrapped asparagus before. That's kind of a classic. So for those of you um, that watched my live stream yesterday where I ate the two tubes of tear, thank you, one. Um, but two, little update for you. I didn't get cramps again. Isn't that weird? I thought I was starting to get cramps when I left and then I got in the tub and nothing happened. I did wake up a few times with some pretty wicked indigestion, but uh, I recently got what I call an old person bed. It's an articulating bed. So I can actually like elevate my head while I'm in bed. So I was able to sleep fine. Hi, Kim, how are you? Or Jim, I always say Kim because it's how it's spelled, but Jim. Um, glad you could make it. All right, we got those all snapped. And I mentioned in the description, but I am the world's slowest cooker. I take my time. So technically this rabbit is supposed to take, I think they said two and a half hours at the most. For me, it's probably gonna take three to four. So feel free to leave as you need. As you can hear, I'm chopping super slowly. That's just, it's my style. I find cooking very meditative and uh, I 
have some issues with ADHD, so I just, yeah, I go slow. World's slowest cook. Yeah, world's okayest eater, world's slowest cook. Reminds me of a line from that movie, the Disney movie Ratatouille, where uh, I don't remember the character's name, but the French chef tells uh, the main protagonist, not Ratatouille, not the rat, but the, the dude, uh, tells him, this is not your mama's kitchen, because he's cutting too slow. I always think of that. She would hate me. Happy Easter, Christina. Yes, Elmer Fudd would be proud. I didn't kill this rabbit though. I let the butcher do it for me. I, rabbit's kind of expensive. Um, where I get it from, it's $10 a pound. So this is a special occasion meal. Um, Anytime we have family over, I always offer to cook rabbit for them because I love it so much and I think it's a special treat. And uh, the only person in my family that's allowed me to cook it for them is my mom. My dad and my stepmother refused. There's our boiling water. I'm going to grab our shallots. So you need a pound of shallots for this. And they're recommending that I soak them in boiling water because I guess the skin's going to come off easier that way. Never done that before, but. You know what I could do maybe? I might be able to use the other camera if I completely turn the audio off actually turn the sound off on the computer. Oh, looks like I'm making shallot tea. It's already turned the water brown. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to turn our sound all the way off. That's our oven ready. And we're going to add me to the screen. And then... There's no echo. Now there's two of me. Fun. Okay. <laughs> we'll try it. You get to watch my backside. Yay. Should have been able to figure that out before. Uh... Watching an episode of First We Eat, one of the challengers, instead of using milk. Oh no. I lost the comment. Uh, he uses lime or lemon juice. Yeah, a lot of people have recommended that I uh, use lime juice. It does it does kind of help with the mouth burn, but nothing's going to uh, help with the cramps that I've found. So that's the hard part. <laughs> yep, just clowning around today, Nicola. Okay, let's see. So they want me to toss it with olive oil and some sea salt. We can do that. We have the capability. All right. And I'm kind of lazy when I roast vegetables. I uh, Some people toss them in a bowl before. I just put them straight on the baking sheet and toss them around with my hand. Again, it's not like I'm cooking in a formal restaurant. This is just for my family. They've never complained, so. <laughs> All right, let's see. We need olive oil. 
perfect. Drizzle that on. Mm. Would help if it would close. All right, and we need some salt. And voila, you can see my super disgusting old baking pan. But that's our asparagus. So we're going to pop this in for, I'm going to do five minutes. Said four to five, we're going to go max. There we go. All right, I'm going to rinse off my cutting board. This is kind of fun. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but I'm enjoying myself, so. And more water on the rabbit. Oh, Wayne is here. Hi, Wayne. Happy Easter. Joanne Paint, happy Easter. Bright Star says, hopefully I'm not cooking rabbit. I am indeed cooking rabbit. That's exactly what I'm doing. When I bought this from the, the butcher, the woman that sold it to me laughed and said, are you cooking the Easter bunny for Easter? And I said, yeah, is that in poor taste? She said, no, you're not the only one. So apparently other people do this too. And in fact, I got this recipe from BBC Cook, um, so British website, and uh, it was under a subcategory of Easter. So apparently, like I said, I'm, I'm not the only person that thinks it's fun to cook rabbit on Easter. My mom, on the other hand, always cooked lamb um, and she served it with mint jelly, which I kind of like lamb. It's a little bit gamey for my taste. All right, what are we needing to do next? We got the shallots in boiling water. Okay, we have to slice up the rest of the vegetables for the rabbit. So we need two onions, two sticks of celery, 300 grams of carrots. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to convert that. All right. That's two grams. That really is. I should know that, but I don't. Okay, so that's going to be 10, uh, about 10.6 ounces, 10.5 liters. That's such a weird measurement. Okay, well, we have a scale for that. <laughs> All right, so slowly. Thing. There's one more how to do it. 7.5, it's not exact. I don't think more carrot isn't gonna hurt it, right? Baker Stowe's is eating pizza. Ooh, that's a good Nicholas says the two screens are making her laugh. Um, yeah, it's, it's just having fun. Just having fun with you guys today. Uh, Bright, Bright Star wants to know, is it going to be spicy? Um, no, because I'm making it for my family. But depending on the, the flavor, I might put hot sauce on it. Full moon tonight. Sean is werewolf Jesus. Oh. 
Okay. And I guess I'll chop up our onions first. But I think actually, since I'm using the two cameras, I'm gonna go do that over here. Well, from our room. And this is where I usually, usually chop things. Yep. And then you can see me and my terrible, terrible chopping skills. Big knife. Ooh, it's rusty. That's gross. I need to stop talking so much. Okay, so the asparagus is ready. And then I'm going to reset the oven for 375. Because that's what we're supposed to roast our beets in. Ooh, that looks lovely. And I have granite countertops, so I can just put that right there on. Isn't that fun? Mm. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why my neck is so rusty. That's really gross. Somebody must have left it in the sink for too long. Do you peel the carrots or leave them with the skin on? I will have to check. This is a pretty rustic recipe, so. I have a feeling we might not need to peel them, but I'm more than happy to if need be. Texas Twister says, ew. Are you saying ew uh, about the rabbit? Yeah, I mentioned that in the description too. Lots of other countries eat rabbit pretty regularly, um, but Americans seem to have an aversion to it because bunnies are cute. Um, but I happen to think that cows are also cute. And I'm sure a lot of you eat hamburgers. So, plus bunnies take a lot less resource to uh, to raise. They grow to full size a lot quicker. They obviously don't eat as much. They don't take as much land. So, in my mind. Rabbit is a very eco-friendly source of protein. This is Twister had a pet rabbit named Sanicula. Oh, I love those books. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you shouldn't eat your pets. That's that's not cool. Not unless it's an apocalypse type scenario. Um I had pet bunnies growing up as well, but I don't know. Just do it differently. I will say because I have two pet dogs, I do find uh, eating dog disturbing. I watched a went down a YouTube hole and I watched somebody do that. Ooh, very upsetting. Yeah, yeah, Brandy. Um, I actually, I think, even though I never had a pet guinea pig, but I've definitely had friends with them, and I think our class had a guinea pig at one point. But I would definitely try it. I think guinea pigs are really popular in Peru. Is that correct? Uh, well, Katie Crabble cutting onions. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't in a while, but it just depends on the onion. Oh, I didn't reset my oven. I'm so scatterbrained. All right. He wants to see the dogs. Not the best time on prepping food, um, but I'll show you them in a sec. Ben is standing right there. He 
he's so lazy. He sleeps most of the time. But uh, if I'm in the kitchen cooking, he just stands there the whole time and watches me, hoping that I'll drop something. thing I would like to try, which we don't eat in America, is uh, pigeon. Those are also really easy to raise. I think if you want to get fancy, you can call it squab, which is a fun word to say. So much onion. No tears yet. Nicola hasn't had chocolate yet. I have not had any chocolate today either, but um, Lee Alexander sent me some of his delicious Naga chocolates, so that might have to happen later. I also have an amazing appetizer spread over there, but of course I haven't had any of it because I'm cooking for, for everybody. Okay, what do I need to do with these onions? Can I throw them in the pot now? No, it wants me to cook the bacon first. Okay, I'm going to have to put them in a bowl. It's fine. has never had rabbit. D says pigeons are pretty too. Trevor says no pheasant or quail. Oh, I was a vegetarian as a kid for quite a while because I wanted to be a vet when I grew up and I didn't see the point in eating animals if I was going to try and save them, right? Made sense. But then my mom married a hunter he would bring home pheasant and quail. This bowl is not big enough. He would bring home pheasant and quail all the time. And I was really curious about it because, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out. So I stopped being a vegetarian. And I will say, pheasant and quail were, they were pretty worth it. They're delicious meats. Pheasant is actually another one of my favorites. long time though. I don't know where you could get that without hunting it. Bright Star says don't forget the sale on candy tomorrow. Yes. And we'll get some strawberry things. These are the best. I even like the Halloween ones, which I think is so funny they do that. But they have Halloween ones with green cream in the middle. Okay. Let's rinse our celery. This is really wimpy looking celery, I have to say. He says squirrel is one of his favorites. That is funny because of your name. <laughs> and let's see, Nicola, you're asking if they wanted me to the carrots and see what they think. It does not, so I'm just going to rinse them. 
Why do more work if you don't have to? I mean, they're going to be cooked for hours in a red wine and vegetable stock, so. How do I feel about goat? Um, I've had goat, usually uh, in curry, and uh, I love curry, so I like it for that reason, but goat also has a very distinct skinny flavor, and uh, one of the three foods I don't like, and I wish I did because it's a total foodie thing, um, but I don't like goat cheese, and I eat it all the time, uh, hoping uh, that I'll like, desensitize myself and suddenly like it, but it never happens. Sadly. I also don't like shiitake mushrooms, which is another foodie thing. I hate it, because there's always like something interesting on the menu. And then I see that it has shiitakes, and I, I'm out. That's probably my least favorite food, is shiitake mushrooms. Um, I've ordered like vegetable pho before, and if they even put the mushrooms in the broth, I can't pick them out. It destroys the flavor of the entire dish for me. Bar. Can you guys hear me okay? Since the mic's over there, I don't know if you Christina says, I love goat, and she makes a killer goat curry. Hi, Nika. I'm good. Doing very well today. How are you? Oops. See, this is why it takes me so long to make anything. <laughs> I should have uh, like prepped before and chopped up all my veggies, but. You guys can suffer with me. Nicholas says you can hear me loud and clear. Awesome. Good, good, good. Oh, I just realized you have a lovely view of my very stylish fire extinguishers. <laughs> it's for safety. We were gonna, we were considering fostering kids a few years ago. We didn't end up going through that for a number of reasons, but um, that's one of the things that you have to have. You have to have a fire extinguisher in your kitchen and one in your uh, Okay, let's, are there any other vegetables that I'm supposed to chop for this? We've got our onions, we've got our celery, we've got our carrots. Okay, I guess I could start picking the bacon while I rinse off my beets and roast those bad boys. All right, how much bacon? 200 grams. Is that going be near? Nope. Two zeros, not those. Seven ounces. Okay, we can do that. I have way more bacon than that, but. I got for this, I figured, uh, since it's gonna cook down into mush anyway, uh, I got bacon ends and pieces actually, and it's Hempler's, which I absolutely love. 
uh, high quality lean kale preservatives, and I think it's a Washington. Where do I see that? Bucklers, Ferndale, Washington. Yep, I even know where that is. Okay, let's get a bowl to measure this. No, hardly. This is like the unicorn above. Ooh, those, those are thick boys. There we go. Uh, three ounces. And look at that. Ooh. I'm just dripping it juice on my cutting board. Now I have to rinse it. Why is it back at 400? I thought I lowered this. Did I not? Stay. It is really hot in here. Okay, we're going to open the window. No, really. All right. Oh, is Jeff Esther here? Very cool. Hi, Jeff. We're just doing a casual cooking show today. I'm getting techie with two cameras. Uh, not a very polished video, but I'm glad you're here. Um, okay. This is to fry for five minutes until the fat has run from the meat. Then we'll put our veggies in. Okay. And I'll move this for you. So you can watch the bacon sizzling, because that's fun. And I want to show off my beautiful red Dutch oven. And then I have to bake them for 45 minutes. I think I can do that. And we've got traditional red beets. And we've got some beautiful golden beets. You have to sing it. Oh, should I bring some first? Yes. Okay. You know, beets are one of those foods a lot of people don't like. I've heard folks say that they taste like dirt. I absolutely love beets. Roasted. This one's have incredibly long roots. Wow. Okay. I'm just going to chop the ends of this. I don't know what to do with this if I brush it in. Yeah, I'm just going to start. Oh, look at that color. Oh, I guess it's hard to 
messy, but it's absolutely stunning. B doesn't like beets or anything sweet. You like green veggies. I also like green veggies. Made a beet ginger coconut milk. Soup recently. Absolutely stunning. Just pink tea. You pull the camera up on the other one, your head is half, but still see the pot too. Maybe um, the stand that it's in, Nicola, uh, has a very set tilt to it. So that's why it's at where it's at. Let's see if I can mess around with it. That may be as good as it gets. Draw. Don't have all the equipment, but a lot of channels have them. Okay. your vegetables, Nicola. Not only is there like dirt and stuff like that on them, but uh, you know, it's fresh. It. If they wash their hands. Yeah, yeah, no, this this screen I can I can see myself. I'm looking directly at the camera. That's fine. I realize the other one you can't really see my face, but the point is uh, for you to see the beautiful I can, I can move it up though. I've already shut it off, I guess. It's not like you can actually see the bacon. Texas Twister. Okay, I'm really going now. Bye. I might need to turn it up, actually. Okay. Put a little baby beets in there. Awesome. Get rid of some trash. And I need something to... Yeah, look at my classy Tupperware. We reuse cottage cheese and yogurt containers. But I think, ooh, that was loud, I'm sorry. I think our bacon will fit in here. I'm just gonna dump it all back again and seal it up. About way too much bacon. Oh, we the bacon sizzling now. We're in business. Nice. Maybe if I move you up, you can see it. Nope. It's not going to work. Let's see. 
Nope. Oh well. I tried. Um. Let's see. What do we need to do next? We got our beef roasting. Um. So for the salad, they want me to use sugared pecans. I have some meat pecans, and I tell you how to make them, but I don't really want to make sugared pecans. So I think I'm just using some more. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Probably chop up our gels. Yeah. I was putting tin foil on the beets because then you can just put them in there to bake, and when you take them out, the skin will feel right off. What time is food ready? I'm hungry. I have no idea. As I said in the description that I said earlier on here, I'm the world's slowest cook, so who knows? supposed to take two and a half hours for the rabbit. The other two dishes I'm making, of course, are shorter. Uh, but I anticipate three to four hours of cooking because I'm not slow. And I'm chatting with you guys, so that makes me even slower. Time to go to the pub for a few beers. Yeah. Go for it. Neil, you like the taste of dirt in your veggies? Your pub is still closed. Yeah, that makes sense. I think... I don't even know what page we're in right now, and I don't really go to bars or pubs all that often. Um, yeah, I think ours might be open again, but uh, it's limited. Like, I think they said close at 10. Oh, I forgot. I have the window open and the traffic's loud enough that the window closed, so. Sorry. You do not live on a highway, but I do live at a four way stop. Um, let's. Ooh. Okay, so Nicola wants me to fix this. There we go. Okay. All right. That works. There's a lot of shallots. I don't think I've ever purchased a pound of shallots. Do you miss gardening, Nicola? I 
kind of like gardening when they're out there doing it, but I hate weeding, which is pretty essential. So, um, my yard's kind of a mess, quite honestly. And I also refuse to use pesticides on my yard, so I'm sure my neighbors love all of the dandelions and daisies. <laughs> Easter here, Jockey 551. I like pickled beets. I love pickled beets. I have a jar of them in my fridge. I love almost all pickled things, quite honestly. When I make myself a salad, I frequently put pickled beets, dill pickles. Uh, yeah, see, look at all that dirt. Dill pickles. Um, what else? Pickle jalapenos sometimes, if I have it, which uh, I don't always. Pickle cauliflower. I found my bubba from Forest Gump talking about shrimp. <laughs> How's this doing? Come on, it's so thick. Ruby says, so real question, anytime I'm filming or streaming, my family and dogs decide, decide it's time to sound like a war zone. Did I lock everyone up? I did not. Um, I think Blake is taking a nap downstairs, um, and Izzy's in her room, probably watching YouTube and playing video games, and Bishop's probably in his room doing the same thing. They, um, I mean, Izzy, Izzy sometimes, as you guys know, is uh, on camera with me, but the rest of my family does not want in my videos, so they tend to avoid avoid the area when I'm filming. Put them in the basement. But if for some reason uh, we get an Amazon package or something like that, baby dogs will lose their mind. Or if somebody decides to go for a walk and walk off my house. So you may hear that later. We'll see. Have to throw that in there. Yeah, that's not filthy. You should be ashamed of yourself, shower. Did 
these four things. Settle the heck down. Christina, so what are we having? Um, we are having rabbit au bean, which is uh, basically like cocoa bean, uh, but with rabbit. So I'm going to braise that for a few hours in some red wine and vegetable stock with all these good veggies. And then we're having a French country salad sticking with the French bean, um, which will have asparagus, roasted beets, um, pecans, goat cheese, which I mentioned before I don't, I don't like, but I'm still going to eat and that's my family says like, and then uh, potatoes are fried. Which I've never made, so that'll be fun. I have I have made rabbit before uh, in red wine sauce. Uh, not necessarily this recipe, but I have made it before. So I know I like this. It's like I was telling one of my my friends that I was going to eat this today. Me I was telling one of my friends that I was making this today, and he's like, oh, be careful, Katie. Rabbit's really gamey. I have never found that to be true. But, I mean, I think the only times I've had it, it's either been braised in red wine or um, did a recipe once where you slow cooked it in the crock pot with, with beer and vegetables. That was pretty good. Jockey's eating rabbit. You're Irish, though. So. Yeah, I was saying earlier, it's popular in other countries. I think the first time I had it, we were at a, um, a Bohemian restaurant in Omaha, Nebraska. My parents used to take me there when I was a kid, and I always got the hot and pepper. These are slippery little suckers now. I'm having a hard time with them. I don't know. They... Yeah, because um, I put them in boiling water, they're really soft all over the place. I don't have the skills for them.
hard. He bites. <laughs> Venison is still your favorite meat. Uh, my daughter and I are talking about that because I think they also sell venison at the butcher that I went to for, to get this rabbit. Um, I haven't had venison since I was a kid, but I, no, that's not true. I had it as an adult. It's just been over a decade. But uh, I remember liking it. So uh, my daughter and I were talking about seeing if we could get some from the butcher. No meat man. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I haven't tried pigeon, but I am curious. Quail is a really small bird, and I like quail. My mom used to, because um, they're so tiny, there's a recipe where you cook them in a pear hot. It's quite tasty. Um, okay, so it wants me to cook the veggies for 10 minutes until golden and starting to soften. And then it says to tip into a bowl, which is a really weird way to word that, but okay. I'll, I'll get a glass of water ready. I'm going to move my asparagus because it's cold over the dining room table so I have more room. That works. Okay, so I'll stir those up a little bit. I'll just bring you over and show you. Oh. Terrible. Being my own camera person is. Not the best, but looks pretty tasty so far. It smells amazing. Oh, I messed it up again. There we go. Let those cook down. And what else can we do? Yes, Trevor, I have had moves. Uh, it it has a very strong, distinct flavor to it. I made a moose meatloaf, actually. <laughs> Happy Easter, Lee. Good to see you. Apparently larger the animal, the less gamey the meat tastes. I didn't find that true with the moose, but it was okay. I think, yeah, I made a moose meatloaf, and I think I served it with barbecue sauce, actually. It was interesting. Um, all right, so what are veggies? Is there anything else we could be doing for the salad, or should I start cutting up the Could make the sugar pecan pie. Ooh, we should make our lemon thyme vinaigrette. Yes. Yes. Okay. So. So we need a lemon. You know what really annoys the heck out of me is um, 
get this in. Rachel Ray drives me crazy when she calls um, it PBOO. I don't know why, but it hurts me every single time. Uh, okay, we need garlic, we need white wine vinegar, which is right here. And I've started buying these big jars of already minced garlic because it saves so much time and I honestly think it's cheaper. It's $5 for this giant jar. Okay, we need fresh thyme, Dijon mustard, salt, and black pepper. Somebody put it in a weird spot. And then the salt and pepper. There's my salt. Where's the open pepper? Hmm. Oh, it's right here. People are putting things in weird spots, I'm telling you. <laughs> Jockey, thank you for the super chat. Get yourself a cheap bottle of wine. Uh, I've already got some cheap wine right here. I did. It's not terribly expensive, but um, but this is what I got to cook our rabbit in because they say when you're cooking with wine to use one that you really like the flavor of, it. and I like this red diamond. It's um, a Washington wine and. Anywhere from seven to eight dollars, so not too spendy. So I appreciate his class now. Um, all right, I need a jar to put our dressing in. Oh, it's gonna be too big. How much liquid are we talking about here? That should work, work quite well. Okay. Oh, I love that sound. Wash our lemon. Where'd my towel go? Oh. And then we set our knife. So for this, you mince the lemon peel and all. Wash the lemon, slice it, and rinse into tiny pieces. Even up. And move the slicing will enable me to take any seeds out. Oh, does this lemon not have seeds? Is it a genetically modified lemon? Oh, that is freaky. There are no seeds in this. That just isn't right, man. I've never seen anybody wash a lemon before, Michael. It's the same thing you would do with any fruit or vegetable. Crazy. Love 
that's not affected. Why <laughs> give you heartburn sticks to bear? <laughs> yeah, I guess sometimes, depending on the wine, that can happen. It is a very acidic beverage. Still standing there hoping I'm gonna drop things. You would not eat lemon, buddy. That's just ridiculous. Nicholas says they always say to do the longer things first. Yes, that's why we started picking the rabbit uh, first, because that's gonna take the longest. The salad will be really quick, but you want the salad dressing to marinate for a bit, so that's why I'm making it now. But next step, once we get our rabbit all put together and simmering in the giant pot, then, uh, then I'll start chopping. You know what I realized? I never set a timer for my beans. That's okay. We'll ballpark it. They just need to be soft, right? Um, but yeah, then uh, once the rabbit is going and we don't have to touch it for a while, I'll start chopping potatoes for the potatoes I've gotten. But yeah, this does have to marinate, so that's why I'm doing it. Let's stir these a bit. Ugh. So yummy. Yummy, yummy goodness. Easy. Is this really hot? Kind of. Oh, that takes some muscle. It's the only downfall I find with cooking with a Dutch oven. They're so heavy. <sighs> the champion. Alright. Oh, I'm sweating now. Okay, so two tablespoons flour. You know what we're going to do? As I said, I'm lazy. I think I'm just going to toss the rabbit meat with flour in the pot and add the butter. Is that naughty? I don't care. Okay. So, <laughs> a big rabbit. Little bunny. All right. 
Whoa, that. I was trying to trip me here. Okay, there's a bunch of papers. Let me put that on. Okay, this must be the templates. Just making sure there's nothing else in there that needs to be removed. Okay, little bunny. Doing great. I'll clean up our mask really quick. Here we go. It's like it never happened. Little bunny, you're doing great. Okay. grams of butter plus a knob. I'm just making sure I'm going to do is put in two tablespoons of butter now, and then we'll use one tablespoon for the finishing sauce. I think that works. I like it. It sounds good to me.
Um, how much oil do I need? One tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just going to estimate that too. Because I'm a grown up and I do what I want. brown it for 10 minutes until golden all over. Okay, okay. We can do this. Excellent. Do that. I can miss probably a lot of, probably missed a bunch of comments. Oh, is the video frozen? I'm so sorry. Oh, we're back. It looks like we're back. For steaming your meals in, you're going to go eat. Awesome. Okay, let's continue with our salad dressing. The stove needs to be on for the rabbit's part. Yeah. That's helpful. All right, so we need half a cup of olive oil. Probably should have taken that stock out. Whatever. Lime and juice. I realize this isn't fresh, but it's fresh if you're skinny guy. This is the third cup. Damn it. And I set it on the cutting board. Here's my fourth cup. There we go. We've got a little eighth cup. Math is fun. Okay. And then three cloves of garlic. I just realized I have a bunch of my garlic spray behind me too. So I don't forget about my beets. I'm actually going to check on them in like 20 minutes and see if they're soft. Uh, what else do we need? We need a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. Thank you. 
because baking is all chemistry and if you don't get things exact, they don't work out. Cooking, you can fudge a little bit, a little bit more at least. All right, now we need to count up the time. Grapes. I believe I have an herb stripper. So I believe. Where would it be though? Where would it be if I put that? It's on my zester. There we go. Okay, in the back of this messy drawer. Should have just used dry time. Too lazy for this. Oh, there are your pumps. My computer is messed up. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! The buffering. Nicholas. Um, this is time. This is fresh time. 
that. He says no patience. Yeah, I don't. Oh. Why is our internet being like that? Okay, so we've got one camera. <laughs> the computer is having problems for some reason. Um, okay, I'll just bring you back over here. Darn. That's too bad. Talking about crab, Dungeness crab. I think the only time I've ever made crab at home was because my friend, whose husband uh, works on a fishing boat, gave it to us. Gave us giant king crab legs. Um, but yeah, that's, that is a pricey meat. The racers are outside stealing my Wi-Fi, apparently. I'll try to join with the computer again later, but just not worth it right now. Okay. Let's flip that rabbit. How are you doing, little bunny? Oh, you're nice and stuck. Awesome. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to, where did I put that? Oh, our wine's over here. We are going to deglaze with some of the wine now. I think we're okay to do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it says I can deglaze with a little bit of water before we get to the wine. All right, we'll do that then. a really pretty color guys I don't know if you can see that there we go all right more time these little pieces I'll just strip with my hands Nicola's excited about crab. We have a place called Can Asia, and they always have a live Dungeness and lobster at Dirt Cheap. Ooh. That's exciting. Nuff says poor bunny. <laughs> nah. It's no worse off than any of the other animals we eat. I was saying earlier, Nuff, that uh, I think cows are cute, and I love a hamburger, so... Try not to be a hypocrite. I went through another stint of being a vegetarian in college because I was really into Hinduism for a while. Like, no joke, I was going to a Hindu chant group every week. Uh, but they have this value, which is really lovely, uh, called ahimsa, which is means nonviolence. So the easiest way, like one of the first steps that almost everybody can do to practice that is to abstain from eating meat. Uh, but then when I got pregnant with my son, 
KFC smelled really, really good, and I figured I should eat what I'm craving. So I've been an omnivore again ever since. I must have been smoking pot then. Uh, no, I'm not really big on marijuana. Um, it makes me kind of worthless. Like all I can do is sit there. And when I was in college, it was still illegal and I'm a rule follower. So I could maybe count on one hand how many times I smoked pot in college. Uh, and I was always super paranoid. Absolutely convinced that campus police was gonna come and uh, take me in. But now, now that it's legal, at least in Washington it is, where I live, um, I have been to the stores and, like, I've tried edibles and stuff like that. And it's fun, like, for watching a movie, but I can't do anything else. I don't get paranoid anymore, though, because it's not illegal. Bunny for Easter is like venison for Christmas. You could do that. I don't think Nicola, uh, even if she came to Washington, would be of age to uh, smoke marijuana. You're not 21 yet, right, Nicola? You have to be 21, just like drinking alcohol. There's a pretzel here that comes in a pizza box. Huh. Jimmy's back. Hi, Jimmy. I'm still trudging along. We're almost ready, I think, to add our vegetables back into the uh, pot with the rabbit. And then we can start um, braising it with the wine. And then I'll uh, start on the potatoes. I'm just taking forever here, um, getting time ready. Stemming the time takes a lot of time. <laughs> Jimmy says, I want to say that this is awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Got off to a rocky start and we, uh, we just lost one of our cameras because my computer is being a pain. Let's see if we can try it again. might let me. Mm. No. Doesn't seem to want to. Okay. We'll revisit it. Don't drink or do drugs kids over 21. <laughs> Honestly, Jackie, I think um, it's probably a shame that I don't like marijuana more because I think it's way healthier for you than alcohol. Did I recover well from the tubes of terror? I did. I was saying earlier, um, kind of a miracle, but I, I thought when I left the stream that I was starting to get cramps. I didn't get any. And I didn't boot either. I did, uh, I did have some serious indigestion in the middle of the night. It woke me up a few times, but that was it. I can handle that. Christina says, okay, Katie, I'm going to throw in the towel. What kind of wine do you like and how do I get in touch? Um, you can... Uh, check me out on all my social media, Christina. I'm Katie Prettyman on Facebook. I'm Beyond Seattle Eats on Instagram. You can email me at beyondseattleeats at gmail.com. Um, as for what kind of wine I like, I, um, I like Cab. It's my favorite. And uh, today we're cooking with um, this Red Diamond Cab because it's one of my favorite Washington wines. And the rabbit's from Washington, so it's really fitting, I think. 
All right. Let's chop up our time. You know what's really awful is I think I'm going to have to do this again for the rabbit. Mm, kill me now. Set a tablespoon, but I'm just guesstimating. Alrighty. That's not going to work. How do I want to do this? Okay. Everything smells so good. Okay, so I think our bunny might be ready. Let's go back to that. So he is brown, scraped all around. It says to put in more rabbits. We don't need more rabbits. Ours is huge. Use the wine to deglaze the pan letting it reduce by about a third. Oh. Hmm. So I want to take the rabbit out. Okay, we can do that. I'm bringing you along with me. Can you give me a, a different angle? Mm, no. This one's better. Pot in there, and you can still see me. I can move that down even more, actually. Okay. Where's my bottle opener? Crap. Might be downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay. And that's for our beetses. Oh gosh, it's so big. Well, I don't know if I can get it out. Come on. Well, at least for me. 
I did it! Okay. Oh, let's work out. Okay. So I need to deglaze the pan with our wine. Out of breath now. And uh, we got to reduce the wine. That's a third of the volume. And they said, oh, they said uh, 600 milliliters. Uh, one bottle of wine has 750 milliliters. So I'm just going to dump the whole thing in. We'll scrape up all the good bits. Ooh. Some stuff stuck on. How are we doing? <laughs> Fried squirrel with tomatoes and gravy. Mm. That sounds good. I feel like I should drink my wine while we do this. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I should check on our little beets. How you doing little guys? Are you squishy? Let's grab the biggest one and see if he's squishy. Mm -mm. We're gonna need some more time. Good thing I started those early. Spread some flour here that's upsetting me. Shh. There we go. Um okay, let's let's let that be. Bring you back over with me and we'll finish up our salad dressing. There we go. All right, what else do we need to do for our salad dressing? So we have the thyme. Oh, we need Dijon mustard. I can do that. This is half a teaspoon. Spit everywhere. No. Ugh. I don't use paper towels. What am I gonna do? Um I do actually have some in reserve. Alright. <sighs> That's so annoying. I had it upside down. Because it's running out a little bit. And I forgot that when you do that, it explodes everywhere. Awesome. Okay. That always sounds obscene, doesn't it? There we go. That's a good amount. And then we need half a teaspoon of sea salt and a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to put more pepper than that. That's not enough. I call bullshit on that. There's my half a teaspoon. That's a fourth. That's a half. Salt, salt, salt. I haven't made my own salad dressing in a while. It does always taste amazing. And this seems like a very healthy salad dressing, which I like. 
Hopefully, if Neff is still watching, he will. Oh, oh, there's a dog. I knew that would happen. What's going on? Something exciting? There's nobody out there. False alarms. What? There's nobody out there. I don't know what you think you see. They're like, oh, there might be somebody walking along the sidewalk over there. Okay. So that's our salad dressing. It's pretty. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, I'm going to, ooh, that looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. salad dressing done. We're going to we're roasting our beets. Can't do anything else with that yet. Mm, I guess it's potato time. Let me see while we have a bit if I can get back into StreamYard on my computer because I like the dual cameras. Enter broadcast studio. <sighs> Ooh, I think we're back. Let's try it. Ha ha, I did it. First review you did for me, you said, Ben, your dog was lying. I lost it laughing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Maddie. Sorry, I'm missing folks. I, I will probably miss quite a few comments because I'm trying to cook while I do this. Uh, happy Easter to you as well, Mark. Joe says, I have to be majorly focused when I cook. Trying to live stream would fully stress me out. I have to say, I was pretty nervous at the beginning. I'm getting a little more comfortable with it. Um, oh, this is weird having the, I need to move this. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I keep losing track of what I'm doing. So it is a little bit stressful though. All right, let's check on our wine, which is still reducing. Ooh, it's bubbling. That's good. Hey, babe. I'm live streaming, just so you know. I want to avoid the kitchen area if you don't want to be on camera. Right. Um, I've got some treats over here for you, though, if you want some appetizers. We have quite the spread. Mm. The farther we get, the more hungry I am. Me too. I still haven't eaten today. Which is probably good. It's always good to give your tummy a bit of a rest after a challenge day. Um, potatoes. All right, we need four russet potatoes sliced into quarter inch slices. I think we should get out our mandolin for this. that keeps me from killing myself. There we go. This thing. The guard. Alright, we need to get potatoes and wash those up. I think we want really big ones then. What do you think? So 
else. It's been on here for two hours. Yeah, and once we put the rabbit back in, it has to cook for another hour and a half. I told you this was going to take me three to four hours. I knew it. I'm always way slower than they say um, on the time estimate. Right. How's this doing? Getting up all the good bits. It's weird, but uh, just having this much wine cooking and the alcohol evaporating does not smell great. Oh, we have a low battery. Okay, let's plug it in. Voila. Um. Nicholas says, I remember when you joined Brandon's stream yard and he was in the kitchen cooking. Yeah, I'm in here a lot. I love it. Oh, Kevin Reich is here. Be careful, Katie. Them things are sharp. Yes, they are. Groovy can stream the hell out of some top models. And Maddie loves watching water boil. That's essentially what this show is, is you watching water boil for four hours. All right, next potato. Christina says, 
Katie versus Brave. I've been cooking my whole life, and those scare the holy shit out of me. Yeah, I used to work in a deli in college, and so I'm used to using those huge industrial meat slicers. But I feel pretty comfortable. I did one time, one of our managers was in the kitchen area of the deli making chicken salad, I think. Oh. And um, she sliced the tip of her finger off and everyone panicked. Nobody helped her, but I, uh, I went over and bandaged it up while they called 911. And the uh, EMTs said I did a perfect job. If you guys aren't CPR and first aid trained, I highly recommend it, especially if you have children. It is very useful. Oh, we need one more. This is a big bad boy. Like, almost as big as my head. I really like potatoes though, so I figured the bigger, the better. That looks so dangerous. Uh, uh, I will try not to injure myself on live YouTube. Um, Maddie, no, no, it was just the very tip of her finger, so it was bleeding pretty profusely, but um, there wasn't really anything that I could save that wasn't big enough. I did another time when I was a kid. My friend, who's also my neighbor, had one of those garage attics with the trap doors and it's because it was before there were a lot of like safety precautions around children and stuff and that door actually fell on his finger and sliced the tip right off down to about the knuckle so maybe that's why i was okay to deal with it as an adult because i'd already seen that kind of thing happen before Check on the beats in a little bit. What do we think about our wine? I think it still has to reduce more. All right. Whew. Cooking with Katie, how to cook and get it working. That's what it feels like. better off just freaking chopping these, but the potato have gotten so pretty and you have the uniform potato, you know? This piece needs to be smaller. Done. And I didn't injure myself. There we go, guys. Look at those gritties. All right. What else do we have to do for our potatoes? Mm -hmm. All right. One onion sliced in for rings. Interesting. Okay. We have to set our potatoes aside then. Dirtying all the dishes. This feels like I'm cooking Christmas dinner. I've never gone this overboard for Easter before, but I've been cooking a lot of like two hour or longer meals lately because I have more time because I'm working from home. And my commute when I was working in the office in Seattle typically took three to four hours out of my day. Yes, that is right. Sometimes it would take me two hours one way just to get to work. I do not miss it. I'm gonna bring no, no, mm. Yeah. Yeah, Trevor, um, come over here by the mic. It probably would have been way easier to use the knife, but uh, 
I wanted the potatoes to be as uniform as possible because I just think it's going to uh, make for a better mouthfeel, prettier dish, all of that. But it's okay. We have all the time in the world. Um, Easy. I was looking up what the nutritional value or benefits of onions were the other day because they seem to cook a lot with onions. Almost every recipe has onion in it. So I guess I just never looked into it, but um, onions are a very powerful anti inflammatory, which is great. Um, they also reduce cholesterol and blood pressure, which is wonderful for our family because my husband takes medication for both of us. Well, wait now. I don't think he's cholesterol now, but he does have high cholesterol. He does take blood pressure medication though. Right. What's the traditional Easter food where you live? Um, well, traditional for me growing up, my mom always made lamb and served it with mint and jelly. I don't know how many other families do that. Um, but what I noticed in the grocery store, the way they displayed things, I think a lot of people make ham on Easter. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else. But ham seems pretty common. Nicholas says, because this cooking live stream is working so well, would you consider doing another one of these in the future again because it's so good? Sure. I mean, I don't have to edit it. I get some company. Um, onions make you emotional while cooking. But yeah, I'd absolutely uh, consider doing this again, Nicholas. Plus, I know some people really like the super long live stream, so it's an easy way for me to have something active to do while I'm doing that. Okay, so I'll we'll worry about the oven later, but let's make a butter the casserole dish. I hate doing that. Ugh, I don't want to butter it. What size casserole dish do I want? Well, we'll try it this way. Um, you can't see me if I do that. What if I bring it down? That'll work. Stove's cool. We're good. That way it can be by the mic. <clears throat> First step, we got our potatoes. We need to make a layer of potatoes. Fine. I've had potatoes all rotten, and I absolutely love them because how can, how can you go wrong with potatoes and cheese, right? But I have never made this dish myself. 
So I'm learning something new. It seems pretty simple. So then they want us to do the onions. Slices. Oh, layer half of the potatoes in the bottom, then do the onion slices, and then add the remaining potatoes. Okay, I'm good. I'm glad I read that. I was gonna do that wrong. I thought it was like potato, onion, potato, onion, like a potato, onion, lasagna. It's not. I don't know that this is gonna fit. I might have more potatoes than I need, but that's okay. Um, I can always save. If we have extra potato and onions, I can save them for uh, for breakfast burritos or something. Oh, I think our wine is good to go. Ooh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna add that back in, I believe. You want me to do internet or or in the stock? Oh, all right. How much stock am I using? All right. We're gonna add our roundup back in, and I'm just gonna manhandle this. an onion and doggies cannot have onions. Okay. We hardly ever used to have problems, and I think now that like everybody's at home. All right, so it's about 13 ounces. Okay. You're on camera right there. Are you here? Yeah, oh. pretty sure. Well, I'm blocking you, but. Um, did you want some treats? Uh, we bring a cup up. Oh, okay. Um, what was I doing? Ah. I need my measuring cup. How are we doing in the chat? If you don't like spreading butter with your hands, use a wooden spoon. <laughs> okay. I don't usually spread butter with my hands. Um... All right, so, oh, this has milliliters on it. I didn't even need to convert that. I don't know why I never noticed that before. Yeah, there's lots of goodies over there. Oh. All right. We got 400 milliliters of chicken stock. And the fridge. And then I think we have to put uh, this is to put 
and the herbs. Okay, so for this you can actually put the whole spray of thyme in. So I'm just going to grab a bunch and toss that in. Thankfully we don't have to strip it. That's great. And then I need two bay leaves. I'm gonna do three because that one was broken. Grab the asparagus. Uh, that's for the salad, you but you can have a piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just not part of the appetizers. Blake is currently doing a happy food dance in the dining room. Okay. What else do they want me to do with the rata? You put the herbs in. Bring to a simmer, cover leaving just a small gap for steam to escape, and then we simmer for the hour and a half or two hours. Uh, okay, sure. Um, I'm going to turn it up a little bit so it simmers. Uh, and then we'll put more potatoes in. The buffalo chicken dip you made is basically. <laughs> the buffalo chicken dip I bought? <laughs> Thanks. Our grocery store carries this amazing buffalo chicken dip. I buy it all the time. I've never made it myself, but it's a good price, so why, why bother? And it tastes great. Okay, so now we're going to put our onions on. Uh, Jockey 551, how long take, cook, and time eat? Uh, I'm guessing you're saying how long is it going to take to cook and eat? Um, well, the rabbit, once I get it to a simmer, needs to cook for another hour and a half to two hours. The potatoes au gratin are going to bake for an hour and a half. That's why I planned it out this way because it should all be kind of done at the same time. And while those two things are cooking, I can um, I can then make our salad, which we already made the dressing for. See, I'm slow, but I thought it out. Uh, do I have to cover the potatoes? Okay. Cover the dish with aluminum foil. So they do want me to cover it. Okay. But I can stack this on because... We're going to cover it with aluminum foil, not the lid, so it doesn't have to be perfectly flush. Look at those potato slices. Jeez, oh Pete. Giant. Oh, I hear a little bit of bubbling, maybe. potato butts. There. I'm so glad that I emptied out the dishwasher earlier because once we get this bad boy in the oven and our rabbit cooking, I need to put some dishes away. So I've been throwing stuff in the sink. I think our rabbit is simmering. Move on this side though for some reason. I'll give it a sec. Alright. What do I need to do next? In a medium sized saucepan, melt the butter over medium heat, add some flour and salt, stir constantly with a whisk for a minute, so before they can cheat the sauce back. Turn the cheese all at once. Continue stirring until melted about 30 to 60 seconds. Pour cheese over the potatoes and cover it in the dish. Alright, so we 
need. Oh, and salt and pepper to taste. Oh, shoot. We're supposed to season the potatoes and onions with salt and pepper, which I did not do. Ugh. Now the bottom layer is not going to be salty. Uh, you know what, though? The thing with salt and pepper is that you can always add it onto your food later. I should have put some of my chili powders on here. Pam would really like that. Isabel gets really mad when I put reaper powder in food. Understandably. <laughs> I'm going to turn this around. All right. I think that's simmering well enough. So then we just want to confirm. We want to cover with a small gap and then it's got to cook for an hour and a half. There, I got a small gap. Okay, so I need the timer for other things. So let's just look at the time right now. It is 4.30, so at 6 o'clock, we will check on our rabbit. Told you, four hours. I knew it. Uh, cheese sauce. Right. How much cheese is going into this? Oh yeah, the cheese sauce is going to have salt, so. Okay. I think we should be fine with this. Two cups of milk and a half cup of cheese. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This pot should be fine. Set our potatoes aside. Hope this is worth it at the end. I think it is, because I like cooking. Um, I like cooking, and I like that I get to share it with you guys today. And my family is always really appreciative when I make a, you know, time-consuming meal for them. They understand how much work it is. And I love, I love feeding people. It brings me great joy. All right. That's three tablespoons. Mm, because it has a small gap. Oh, let me turn it down. That's probably why I had it turned up. Oh, I bet we could actually, let's turn it to two. Yeah, we're gonna turn it down low um, since it's already bubbling and boiling. That way the meat cooks slower the idea is to get it to fall off the bone. All right. Cycle that. Okay, so we got our butter. Now we need flour again. <clears throat> So it melts. Settle. All right. And then three tablespoons. tablespoons of flour. I need two cups of milk. What did I do? Mm, that's dirty now. I'll just grab this. Mm -hmm. That's 
it's a three quarter cup. Dang it. I took the wrong one off. Because my. Where's my full size? a sec. Oh yeah, I think these are good. They made a mess out of my oven. I'm gonna have to clean the oven after this. That's okay though. It probably needed to be cleaned anyway. But yeah, some of them I should have put them on a baking sheet. Some of them have dripped sugars onto the floor of the oven, which I kind of thought was going to happen. I was like, eh, I'll risk it. Ooh, that one's really soft because it's a so little. slightly and then rub the skin off with a paper towel. It's a good thing I have that reserve of paper towels. Slice the beets, then dice, and chill until it's so easy. Okay. Christina says, I think I'm going to have to go eat. I didn't realize this would be that long. Yeah, 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 absolutely. People do not have to stay around. Trippy food, what's the worst that can happen if you use the wrong amount? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. That's, uh, I was saying earlier, that's why I like cooking rather than baking, because you don't have to be as exact. How's the battery on your phone, GoPro? Um, this camera is my laptop. It's plugged in, and the uh, I'm using the cell phone for the other angle, and that is also plugged in. So we're good. I'm gonna let those cool a little bit. How's our butter? Not quite melted. Say to put the flour and salt together. Sorry, I tried printing these recipes out so I could just keep them with me around the kitchen. I think I mentioned before I was having problems with my printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, settle down. Very hot butter. It's talking back sassy little thing. I don't even have it on that high of heat. Ooh, it's because it's a fat. And I'm taking too darn long. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Perfect. And then we're going to whisk it. Because we're making a roux. That makes sense. You can do it for about a minute. Ooh, 
Christina says, I make killer potato pancakes. Yum, I love potato pancakes. Last thing Joe cooked was Guinness beef stew for St. Patty's Day. Yum. Mrs. Skull does most of the cooking. Yeah, I tend to do most of the cooking because, like I said, I enjoy it. But my husband does have quite a few recipes he makes that I really like. Makes awesome chili for one. And I bought whole milk for that full fat experience. Two cups. And I'm going to trip on you. supposed to whisk this until it starts to thicken and then we add our cheese. Trippy foods is so funny. I feel like I'm watching two people cook. Yeah, I'm playing around with camera angles today. Had kind of a rough go of it at the beginning, but it seems to be working now. The only thing I wish was, uh, oh, I bet there's like a mount I could get. But it would be fun to have a, a third angle where I had a camera mounted up here. I don't know how safe that is for the camera to be that close to the heat. I wonder if my GoPro could handle that. I would just have to get a mount. That could be interesting. Yeah, just having fun. I, I knew I was going to be cooking. Um, guys, I... I I haven't been shouting out channels, but if you aren't subscribed to Trippy Foods, go check out Val. He's really cool. Uh, he and I are going to be doing a collab soon. I need to check my email and see when we're doing that. Um, but we're actually going to be eating wings with the last dab triple X sauce from um, Hot Ones, which was sent to me by Luther the Great, a.k.a. Neil. So that should be a fun collaboration. But yeah, you definitely want to go sub to Trippy Food and uh, you'll want to turn on that notification bell because I believe we're going live on his channel and you'll miss out if you don't do that. This will not seem to be getting thicker. Maybe now that I have the cold milk in there, I need to turn up the heat a little bit. Nicola says, I always think men and women should both help cooking and not just one person. Absolutely, Nicola. Uh, I definitely think men, uh, you shouldn't like fall into terrible like gender norms about cooking, for sure. Um, in fact, most professional chefs are men. That's still a very male-dominated world. But uh, I don't know. I think uh, in most long-term marriages, you tend to kind of break out the chores based on what you guys like, what bugs you the most. Like my husband usually does the dishes, one, because I do the cooking, but two, having dishes in the sink really annoys him and it doesn't annoy me as much. I can leave them for way too long. Um, he tends to do a lot more of the household chores, but he's also a stay-at-home dad. So, you know, I'm in my office working. So he, he, I like to call him my house manager takes care of all the kids' doctor's appointments, uh, a thing in the house needs to be repaired. He handles all that stuff. Buttermilk is good for baking. Yeah, I have I used buttermilk for anything? I don't know. Come on. I feel like I've been here forever. Good food takes time. Just gotta be patient. I am gonna turn it up a little bit though. Pan even hot? Yeah.
trippy food. I cook things like iguana, Rocky Mountain oysters, etc. While your wife does most of the normal meals. Yeah, I watched your video where you cooked iguana. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, when my husband cooks, he tends to make more classic American dishes and he usually follows either a recipe or a recipe that he already has in his head. I tend to be more of like what's in the fridge, let's throw it together kind of person. And I do like working with like weird ingredients or things I haven't tried before. I, I used in France, Val. I figured you meant wife, not wide. <laughs> and I won't tell your wife that you called her that. Rabbit covered in the bomb. Ooh, I have some de bomb in the fridge, but that stuff's nasty. Buttermilk powder works well. Nice. Been live for two and a half hours. Wow. I watched the tail end. So Val and I have a friend in common, uh, Matt from Reckless Eating. And I hopped on the tail end of one of his like gaming live streams. And he had been streaming for 13 hours. I don't know how he does that. I mean, I guess it's his full time job, but still. Hmm. Oh, are we getting some thickness here? Is something happening? No. I would add more flour, but I don't want it to get too thick. What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? I've made cheese sauce before. It's mm hot -hmm. enough. There's two cups of milk, right? Hmm. I don't know. Put that back. <clears throat> oh. That was the next thing I need to do. I think for potatoes, we need the oven at 400. So let's do that now so it has time. And then once we get the potatoes in the oven, then I will start peeling those beets because those have to go in the fridge to chill. Okay, seems to be thickening. Okay, time for a chiz. And yes, I buy the big family size shredded cheese. I like cheese a lot. That's fine. Uh, another half cup. That's a little more. It's going to be extra cheesy. All right. 
Ooh. I love cheese. Oh yeah. This is going to be amazing. Ah, rabbit, cheesy potatoes, a fresh salad. Love my life. Mm. I'm going to bring you guys in. You have to see this. You're missing out here. Mm. There we go. Look at that. It's amazing. Mm. All right. That's perfection. Yep. Cheesy sauce on. Ooh. Oh, don't spill it. Don't spill. Don't spill. It really wants to spill. Oh, don't do it. Yeah, I licked my finger. Again, I'm cooking my, for my family. Get over it. Spot here. Spot here. Oh no! We have a cheese emergency. And of course, I'm getting it on the on the stove now. Awesome, good job. This crisis averted. I'm guessing I should have used oh, it's spilling out again I should have used a bigger casserole dish is the lesson here I don't know what I was thinking I guess I thought the cheese sauce would be thinner and it would just go in all the cracks but it is not I was wrong See that mistake? It's a bird now. All right, just a little bit more. Ordinarily, I would get a spatula and then scoop out the rest, but I don't know that I can fit any more cheese in this container. <clears throat> I'll have to get that later. All right. How are we looking? Oh, 
We got another spell over here. <laughs> Adopt the Pee Wee Herman motto. I meant to do that. Yeah. For sure. Okay, I'm actually going to let that sit for just a little bit so the cheese sauce has a chance to work its way down in there before we bake it. And I'm going to be a little bit smarter than last time. And I'm actually going to put this on a baking sheet so that it doesn't make a giant mess in my oven. Yeah. Um. No, you know what? I think I can fit the lid on. Let's just do it. Here, I'll show you guys. These are our cheese. Ooh, the light's terrible. I'll come over here. Cheese and potatoes. Yeah, that'll work. It's going to make a mess, but whatevs. Ooh, that is heavy too. Everything's heavy today. Okay, 400 degrees. We need an hour and a half on our timer. So when the potatoes are done, we'll check on the rabbit because the rabbit can go up to two hours. There we go. Mess just had water in it. Oh, so I can just put that away. All right, let's do a little bit of cleanup before I go any further. All right. I think I am going to need my knife again later. Yeah. I, I, so I'm going to just rinse that in the sink again. This needs to be washed. Let's do the dishwasher. Thanks again for, speaking of the mic, thanks again for hanging out with me, guys. I know this is kind of weird. I just thought it would be fun. should leave my tongs out because probably going to need those to maybe plate the rabbit if I want to do like a pretty presentation type thing which I usually do plus uh, it's going to be kind of hard to cut uh, the rabbit up if, um, if it's in my Dutch oven I don't know why, but I think I would honestly enjoy watching somebody do that. I mean, I'd probably do other things uh, at the same time, like play a game or something, but let's, I have more dishes to do, but let's bring up the comments here so I can see them. Uh, Trevor, will you be filming your eating at, din at the dinner table as well? I will not because uh, this is a meal for my family and I think I mentioned earlier but the only person in my family other than myself that doesn't mind being on camera is Isabel and she doesn't even want to be on camera today. It's like watching Julia Child but with less wine. Yeah, um, well, it was a pretty heavy pour. I was at about here when we started but I've been too busy really to drink a whole lot of it. But yeah, I love Julia. 
my husband got me a bunch of DVDs of like, I think it's the whole collection of her cooking show. And I love how she explains things because you can learn you know, like the basics for how to make a quiche, like the chemistry behind it. And then you can just go and like make it your own once you learn from her. Plus, she's just one of those like lovely, unique personalities. I like unique people. Enough is in the VIP room of the Krusty Burger getting your drink on. Nice. They have a Krusty Burger where you live? That's kind of cool. Okay, I think what I'm going to do for this section is bring this camera over. Let's see if I can do this. Just a sec. try what I was hoping to do originally and have one of the views actually be of the, what I'm doing. Oof, that's really light saturated. Oh, it's at Universal. That makes more sense. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to turn this light off over here and see if that helps. It did not. Um, is it because of the skylight? That's annoying. Ha! Success! All right. Look at that. I feel like a fancy cooking show now. Oh, we gotta rinse our cutting board off. And yeah, most of my things are like old, decrepit, and stained because I use them a lot. But if something still works, why would you get something new? Um, Voodoo Donuts. Do they have Voodoo Donuts at Universal? I thought that was just a Portland thing. All right. We're coming down to the easy part, guys. We just have to assemble our salad and wait for things to cook. And so I'm hoping once I get the salad together, I can just chill with you guys for a while. Wow, these are still hot. And why is the lighting so crappy? Ah. 
There we go. Tuna. What the fin is this? This is me cooking for, well, I said it was probably going to be three to four hours. It's looking more like, um, well, it'll still be about four hours. Dinner should be ready about six. But uh, I'm making a big Easter feast today, tuna, and I thought it would be a fun experiment to try some different camera angles and just do like a casual live. No pressure, no editing. Just me hanging out with people that want to watch me cook. And because it's so long, people have been coming and going, which is totally fine. Like I said, it's just an experiment. Oof, scorching hot. It's a good thing I'm unfoiling them. I might have to let them cool a bit. Doing this over the sink because the sugars have crystallized. Whoa, that's a juicy one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad you joined, Tuna. I thought you might like it because you like really long live streams. Christina says, Maine, going to have to check you out as well. Wow, lots of new channels. Yes. Maine Event Pong is one of my favorite channels. And because I'm friends with NAF, I get to preview a lot of the vi uh, videos, which is a cool privilege. <clears throat> you can see the steam, yeah. That's probably the other reason my cutting board is so stained, because I love beets so much. And red beets in particular are amazing for dyeing your hands and everything else in your kitchen. All right. And while we're letting those cool a little bit longer, I think I'm gonna take our asparagus over there and put it in the fridge so it's nice and cold and crisp for the salad. Oh yeah, those turned out great. Love asparagus. Yeah, I figured, so rabbit, interestingly enough, is all white meat. So it's a very lean, very healthy protein. Um, for a three ounce serving, it's about 140 calories. 28 grams of protein and only three grams of fat, which is outstanding. So we're having a healthy protein, healthy salad, and then um, we're going to have our fatty, cheesy potatoes to balance it all out. It's a ridiculous design flaw. Balancing, I should try guinea pigs sometime, it's delicious. Yeah, we were talking about guinea pig earlier 
I think I would probably like it. I bet it's similar to rabbit. Um, I know it's really popular in Peru. I'm not sure where I would get it here though. I don't think my local butcher has guinea pig. They have rabbit, but they don't have guinea pig. I, I think they do have venison though. So I might, I might do something with venison soon. Um, oh, we lost sound. Can you hear me again? It's because the, the phone lost internet connection for some reason. It came back up. Okay, good. Okay, I'll put these in the fridge. And I'm going to save this cork from the wine that we're cooking the rabbit in. I've been saving all of my wine corks for quite a while now. I want to make a huge cork board out of wine corks. All right, so the recipe said that we should be able to remove the skins with a paper towel. I don't, mm, sure. This is not the smartest way to do this, I don't think. I think that's for wieners that don't want to get their hands messy. There we go. Check your Latin American groceries. I'm trying to think if we have any. I imagine we do. I'm close enough to Seattle, but I've never been to one. Oh, they're so pretty. See, I told you I'm so slow. I'm sure somebody else could do this much quicker. make amazing butter chicken. My kids request it for their birthdays every year, but it takes me at least two hours. I mean, part of it's because it has to simmer for a long time, but I, I am incredibly slow. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. All right, let's do a red one. We'll just put the skins on the paper towel, I guess. That was a waste. Maybe you use it so you don't get the red beet juice on your hands. I don't really care. I can wash my hands. How long till you arrive with the clams? Ooh, they look like little gems. Well, big gems, I guess. Ben is still right here standing watching me. It's probably been the longest without a nap you've ever gone, Ben. He is such a mama's boy. Sometimes, um, sometimes when I'm sitting on the couch, if he's not in my lap, he'll paw at me to like make room for him to sit. And he does this, this whining noise. I can't even describe it. It's just like, ah, uh, I can't do it. I was going to do a dog impression, but eh, forget it. Um, but the other day, no lie, follows me into the bathroom. I'm peeing and he's whining to get into my lap. COVID has totally destroyed his like sense of independence. I mean, he was always really needy, but it's really bad now. Um, I don't know what he's going to do if I have to go back to the office. Where's Tuna's birthday butter squid, Katie? When's your birthday, Tuna? If I can make some butter squid. They sell squid at H Mart. I don't know how well that would work. I mean, I guess if you added the squid at the last, the last step with the chicken, of course, you simmer it for a long time and make it really tender. But squid, that would make it tough, so. I guess you would just simmer the sauce for a long time and then add the squid in. You could do it though. I 
I'm kind of grateful that I didn't have this camera angle up while I was chopping earlier. That would have been embarrassing. I get enough comments about how I should use utensils, etc. I don't need people commenting on my knife skills or lack thereof. Joe, I missed. Where did you get the rabbit from the wild or store? I got it from our local butcher called Sylvana Meats. And it is from Valley Farms, which is apparently a farm here in Washington State. So it's a local, local rabbit. And because it's farm raised, <clears throat> It is giant. It is four pounds and six ounces. I have never purchased a rabbit that big. In fact, the recipe that we're using today asks for you to use three rabbits, but they approximate the weight at four pounds total. And I only had to get one rabbit. Oof, this is starting to stick to my hands. So visceral. You add live squid in at the end. Nice. So I mentioned before that our family loves beets. I buy the red variety quite a bit. And recently, these are kind of small. Recently, the beets have been giant. I don't know why. But uh, I guess I haven't bought in golden beets before. Or Isabel doesn't remember. But she was extremely excited about the golden beets. This is going to be such a good salad. I'm so happy. That thing is a jackalope. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> it looks like it's a jackrabbit. I should buy a jackalope for home decor. I've always thought those were kind of cool. I don't know. Is that morbid to have stuffed animals in your in your home? Hands real quick. They're all purple now. Why not get a stuffed squid? Uh. What's up, Lily? Okay, so I want the colors to really shine in these. I think I'm going to cut and store them separately. That's dry. We'll do the golden beets over here. Ooh, that one got a little red on it. It's okay. Those are good. Oh, now you get to watch my amazing knife skills. <laughs> Not. I'm thinking about it. Uh, you put beets in the heart stew you made for Valentine's Day and they lost their color in the pressure cooker. That is really odd. 
never had that happen, but I've never put beets in a pressure cooker either. How, how is the heart stew? So pretty. It's just one of the prettiest vegetables. Curly's apparently having an asthma attack over there. He does that a lot. Don't worry about him. <clears throat> it's another like common issue with Pomeranians. They uh, have a lot of problems with like their trach collapsing. He coughs a lot. That's why if you have small dogs, uh, you really want to use a harness and not attach a leash to their collar because you can crush their windpipe. It was pretty good. You did a Valentine's Day episode. Ooh, I'm going to have to check that out. Did I do anything special for Valentine's Day? I don't remember. I'm not a huge... Celebrator Valentine's Day. Mm, I bought the kids chocolates. All right. There are beautiful golden beets. I love that I can just take my time now. I'm like extra slow. Chocolate. No. I have to wash my hands again. Um, Tuna had to pick up the juicy squid for Katie to cook for Tuna's butter, uh, butter squid tomorrow. Is your birthday tomorrow, Tuna? If so, happy birthday. If you guys don't know Tuna, he is one of the greatest YouTube commentators. He loves the live stream and he always has the best Tuna facts and jokes for everyone to enjoy. They're so gelatinous. I love it. I also like just raw beets, quite honestly, but this will be a special treat. Soon I got a fat one for Katie. Hope Hope I enjoy it, I'm sure. Oh, I gotcha. You've just decided that it's your birthday tomorrow. Tuna needs more praise, guys. Mm. Have such a wonderful speaking voice. Thank you. I used to not like listening to the sound of my voice, but because I make videos now and I have to edit them regularly, 
I have gotten used to it. I think to a certain extent, almost everyone feels a little bit of cringe when they hear their own voice. Unless, of course, they're like hyperly narcissistic. I guess I do know a few people like that. We all do. Oh, it's so pretty. There we go. We got our red and golden beets done. I'm going to wash my hands again. Put those babies in the fridge. Now, look at me doing the dishes. Like I said, my husband usually does them, so I always feel really proud when I clean up my messes. Okay, I think let's take care of this first. Is there anything else we can do right now? Or are we just going to chat? Potatoes are baking. I suppose I could turn the rabbit over. That might be good. All right, we did our asparagus. If you roasted our beets, we could um, make sugar pecans. But I mentioned before, I don't really want sugar pecans. I just want regular pecans. Got our vinaigrette done. Toss the greens, asparagus, and vinaigrette until everything is lightly coated in dressing. Garnish salad with beets, goat cheese, and pecans. All right. I guess we're done for a while, guys. Um, does that mean I can have appetizers? Oh, I don't have a motor mouth. Gotcha. Katie has a tuna mouth. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I think, do I have room for that in here? Let's see. Nope. Maybe. Oh, I'm going to have to hand wash the cutting board. But first, I'm going to clean up some of the water. Okay. Should we get like a little Benny cam action going on here? Let's see if I can show you Ben. Can I pull this across without, will it go that far? No! Throwing things everywhere. It will not. Here, I can move this. No, I can't see the floor that way. Mm. I'll just unplug it and show you Ben for a sec. Move that back over. See? He's been there the whole time. <laughs> and uh, over here, we have my lovely appetizer spread. And yes, a big box of wine. Uh, yeah, what do we have? We've got, oh, here, we'll go over there. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. I'm just having fun with the cameras at this point. But yeah, we've got the chicken buffalo dip that my husband mentioned. We have cheese curds from Beecher's Cheese, which is a Seattle-based cheese company. Amazing. We've got roasted red peppers, artichoke hearts, garden veggie cheese, which nobody's gotten into apparently, some olives, some scorpion cheese, which I'm going to enjoy, some ghost pepper salami, jalapeno cream cheese, which I bought specifically to go with this. My friend, can you see that? Mm. The devil's aftermath. My friend Lee Alexander sent that to me. He has a company called 405 Chili Company. And he said it's amazing on crackers with the jalapeno cream cheese. So we'll come back over. I guess since I'm not going to be doing much more prep, I can put this camera back over here. You can just stare at my Dutch oven. Why not? Val says we get Beecher's products in Los Angeles, but apparently curds don't do well here. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> Val, Beecher's cheese is absolutely delicious. It's kind of pricey, but it's really good. And, uh, at their restaurant, they have a kimchi grilled cheese that is amazing. You'd probably really like that if you like kimchi. You seem like the kind of guy that would like kimchi. All right, I'll plug this back in. All right. And I saw Jimmy is back. He says, wow, you're still alive. And yes, Jimmy. I said it was probably going to be three to four hours. It looks like it's going to, oh gosh, it's going to be like four and a half hours. Because we still have 55 minutes left before our potatoes are even done. And it could be longer if the rabbit isn't tender enough. Was that a chef's kiss? It sure was, Trevor. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I have a camera pointed that way. I probably shouldn't in case people want to walk by. Um, a day with Katie. Yeah, that's essentially it. I've never done this before, but uh, that would be fun. Val's been to a place where they make it. Yeah, it's in the, it's right next to the Pike Place Market, right across the street from it. Christine is asking if uh, Trippy Food is in Seattle. I uh, know he's in California, Southern California. He can tell you where exactly, I just know that, but because most of my YouTube friends are in California. <laughs> well, I think I should make myself a plate of appetizers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll turn the rest around. Okay. Brandy says it's been great watching you cook uh, rabbits, uh, but you're meeting up with others here. Oh, no worries, Brandy. I, I know most people can't hang around for all of this. It's insane. I'm a crazy person. Let's see, Neil's calling out tuna. Yeah, happy Easter, Brandy. Thanks for joining me. Okay, what do I want? What do I want? <clears throat> well, I think I definitely want some of these cheese curds. For sure. Oh, of course. Evo ripped the plastic and just left it on view. Ooh. Yeah, these 
razor and herbs. It's got garlic, rosemary, and thyme. Classic. Um, I want some buffalo chicken, but for sure. Hello again. Isn't this fun? I can just set up a gazillion cameras. It'd be like a reality TV show. Like Big Brother. This is not going to open. I got this cheese at Double D Meats, which is a store I've told some of you about. They have over 4,000 hot sauces. Amazing. Bye, Belle. Thanks for joining. Aw, thanks, Dana. I try to be a good mom. Awesome. All right. So I think I have to try the scorpion cheese first. So I also bought a ghost pepper cheese from the store. 
Can you review that? It was just kind of like a hotter pepper jack. This doesn't have the huge chunks like you would get in a pepper jack cheese or that roast pepper cheese. But you can definitely taste the chili. Mm. This is the best part of cooking. When you have things just going, you can leave them alone. Mm. I usually listen to podcasts while I cook. Or I watch live streams. I'm sorry, Ben, you can't have any video. It's not good for you. Mmm. Christina wants a baby brandy. Nice. Jalapeno cream cheese and the devil's aftermath. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> well done, Lee. Lee is such a sweetheart. He sent me a bunch of his products, and all I had to pay for was the shipping, which was a bit hefty because he lives in the UK. <clears throat> but, gosh, he really hooked me up. All right, buffalo chicken dip. Exactly what it sounds like. Mm, 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 mm. He's doing the whining way. I can't give you any of this, Ben. I can give you guys treats in just a second. Let me finish my food. Cheese card. If you don't know, I have a slight sriracha addiction. I think this needs a little bit. There you go. That's business right there. Look at that. <clears throat> mm. So I'm curious, guys, what have you guys been eating or going to eat later today for Easter? I've been going live so long, I just realized that I should probably let my dogs out probably. Come on. Come on, boys.
<clears throat> Trevor wants to know, Katie, do you grow any peppers, ghost peppers, jalapeno, bell, banana, etc.? Um, I just got into that recently. I actually, I only have one pepper plant right now. Um, I have a scotch bonnet over here. And it's from seeds from some scotch bonnets that Neil sent me. And uh, my buddy uh, Hefty, who I did the live stream with yesterday, he sent me some Carolina Reaper seeds. It's official from Pepper Butt Company because he went down there to visit. So I need to plant those. So then I'll have scotch bonnets and Carolina Reapers. But yeah, I've just started getting into that. I don't have a huge green thumb, but I do have quite a few house plants that I've had for a few years that I haven't filled yet. It's good to have plants around it. It cleans the air in your house, especially in the winter when you can't open the windows. <clears throat> Are you still helping it with them? check and see if people want any more. I'll be back. Or wait, I can just work it. Alexa drop in on Bozer. Okay, dropping in. Cody. Peaceable. Yeah. Do you want any more apps? Okay, I'm going to put them away because they've been out a while. Okay. Alexa, drop in on Bishop's room. Okay, drop in. Bishop? Yeah. Do you want any more appetizers or should I put them away? Uh, you should put them away. Okay. Alexa, stop. Alexa, drop in in the office. I couldn't find that name. Here what? are the devices What's for that home. Bullet Room, Bishop's Room, Grace Echo Dot, and Family Room. Oh. For all devices. Alexa, drop in on Blake Echo Dot. Okay, drop in. Hey, babe. Blake? Maybe he's in the family room. Alexa, stop. Ugh, now I'm going to have to walk. Come on, Riley. Come inside. Welcome. Digital cameras are fancy AF. Nice. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just playing around with cameras today. It's not like super formal or anything. I had a bunch of tech issues when I started the dub, but whatever. We've been going over three and a half hours now, so it seems to be working. Mm. Okay, so Blake is taking another nap. Uh, I'm going to put everything away. The appetizers. 
So we're not done yet. <clears throat> um, of course, somebody opened the crackers like a scavenge, so I can't just clip it shut. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. flipping it <clears throat> one side of it oh Hurley are you eating onion please don't be eating onion oh. one side of it is extremely wine soaked and the other was not so this is good but we're doing this oh I knocked a bay leaf out there we go That's how our rabbit is doing. spoonful of this goodness. Scotch bonnets are probably one of my favorite peppers. It's such a good flavor. Uh, okay, I can put that away because I'm going to be opening this. Things are winding down, guys. Does anybody have questions for me? Seems like ten people watching, or probably people that watch me regularly. <laughs> so you might not. <clears throat> Aren't these nice? These little glass bowls. Just come with. Lid so you can 
use them for dips and then store them or Lizzie makes creme brulee in them. I really wanted to play music today and I thought if I didn't monetize this video that maybe I could for you all. <clears throat> so we had some background stuff going on. But apparently uh, YouTube will still, you can still potentially get in trouble even if the video isn't monetized. So, sorry. Uh, Trevor says, what is your next Ghastly Pepper challenge? Hmm. I don't know, I think I'm out of like formal challenges. I do think I'm gonna order the raspberry rain because I heard one, it's a delicious chocolate bar. And two, I think it's one of the only League of Fire challenges I haven't done yet. Um, I haven't done the original Pocky chip either, but I started doing this after that had already happened. So I don't think I'd be able to get a hold of one of those and it'd be really stale. So <clears throat> maybe the raspberry rain. Um, it's not an official challenge, but I mentioned earlier Val and I are going to do wings with the, the last dab triple X. So that'll be fun. Um, how are our potatoes doing? Oh, good. It looks like the cheese did bubble down into it. <clears throat> But I definitely made a huge mess with that. Awesome. Uh, are the challenges healthy for your body? What am I doing for you? Um, that's a good question. I've done a lot of research into what capsaicin does to your body because I do it so often. Uh, and people are always like, oh, you're going to kill yourself, which is highly unlikely. I think what I read is a human being would have to consume about four pounds or more of Carolina Reapers before they would die. And you would most definitely throw up before that happened. There's no way your body would let you do it. Tax season does have a lot of health benefits. Um, so there's that. It does speed up your metabolism, which is why you get the cap cramps. And they have done studies that suggest that people that eat spicy foods regularly live longer. So that's a thing. Um, <clears throat> I did see an article recently that said something about people who eat spicy foods regularly getting dementia. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know who did the study or um, how accurate that is, but it's like anything, you know, you can read one study on coffee and it says it's amazing for you. And then another one that says it's terrible for you. So really just depends on who's doing the study and what they're looking for. But uh, I don't think it's hurting me at all. I mean, it does temporarily after the challenge, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to suffer like long term effects from it. Anything is just fun. away first then. I have to figure out what I'm doing with those. It's some monster. They're in the container. All right, I've got a giant plastic bag.
Now I'll give you your treat, and then I have to clean the cutting boards. So, hurry. Right by the oven, and you can see that the, um, the potato smells so buttery. It's awesome. Okay, you're gonna hear like a bunch of loud noises while Ben eats this peanut butter, but he has no teeth, so there are only a few treats that I can give him. There you go, bud. Yeah, that's for you. Go for it. Oh, I always peanut butter, and this is chunky, but I figured the chunks are small enough in it. Okay, there we go. Now he's eating it. He was just confused for a second. Yeah, you can have it. It's good. All right, you want your other treat, Billy? Really? Oh, no, we're out of them. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to order more. Curly usually gets two treats. He gets one for his joints and one for his teeth. Uh, I'm missing stuff. Tuna says you're exactly right on that, Katie. Five versus one person says one thing, something the next. Yeah, yeah, you kind of have to trust yourself. Tuna says peppers belong to the nightshade family, which are known to be toxic to humans. Yeah, they, some of them can be, like to uh, potatoes, if you eat the green part of the potato, that's poisonous. My mom's allergic to all nightshade plants. Surface growth, potato berry are toxic because potatoes belong to the nightshade family. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard as well. All right, let's clean our cutting boards while we're waiting. We've got 24 minutes. So exciting. licking your empty food bowl and telling me you're hungry. You'll get dinner later. It's not your dinner time yet. Interesting to think about season seems to cause some interesting effects to alchemists and Cody Mist when they go wild. Which Shuna is curious about why your human body do that. Yeah. Yeah, everybody reacts to it differently. They are fun to watch though. I like watching the alchemists and Cody Mist. Thank you. 
dry. And then I don't even know what to do with myself. I got, I could get um, a platter ready for the rabbit. I'll make one of the kids make the table. Slap it in So what do you all plan on doing with the rest of your day? Oh, I think I dirtied all of my big bowls. What am I going to put this out in? Uh, oops. I'll have to wash them. Okay. Oh, I'm done. All right. Which bowl do I want to wash? still needs to deliver the 500 pound yeah. giant squid to Katie. <laughs>
done already? Be right back. I think this towel is done. I need to get in here really quick to do the. I know, I know. I have to get a towel. Oh, sorry, Ben. All right, nice, nice, fresh kitchen towel. Um, well, we've got 15 minutes. So for the salad, they want me to toss the vinaigrette with our spring mix. So I think I'll do that now and let it marinate a little bit, and then we're going to garnish with the goat cheese, the fondant beets. Mm. Bye, Trevor. Good night. Thanks for sticking around so long. <clears throat> too much vinaigrette for that much spring mix. I don't know why they had me make that much. It doesn't even say how much I actually put in there. Uh, it says until everything's lightly coated. Okay, I can guesstimate that. Okay, <clears throat> I am going to get another glass of wine. I'll be right back. Renegade lettuce. Come back. I 
Christina. What's going on? I see cursing faces. You are now clam tuna, apparently. That's beautiful. Ooh. Yes, I'm going to bring it over to this camera. But look at that glistening spring mix. Amazing. So happy. And I'll wait with the uh, <clears throat> beet and asparagus. Oh, wait, was I supposed to put the asparagus in there already? Oops, I think maybe that was. It's not too late. Frost greens and asparagus and vinegar. Jeez. How complicated is this salad? Some beautiful asparagus. down to nine die-hard people. Thanks for sticking it out. Hopefully you're doing something else, because I know this is not riveting on the birds. But I have had fun with you guys today. For sure. I maybe should have brought some people up into the stream so they could have talked to me while I was cooking. That would have been smart. Well, I'm not going to do it now. It's too late in the game. <clears throat> the next time, if I do this again, I could pick another ridiculously long recipe to make. Neil is... Drinking, cooking, planting, watching. Nice. Those are all good things. Eight die hard people, one blue fin tuna. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. So only eight. Very impressed with this. What a great way to spend a Sunday. I'm not talking about you necessarily watching me. I'm saying me cooking all day. I love it. But good on you for watching. bad boy back because so you can watch me cut up the goat cheese mm -hmm. and I'm 
just gonna cut it on a plate. There's also the tuna alchemist, so two tunas. Mm, super duper spicy tuna. Yeah, I was supposed to make a spicy tuna fish sandwich, tuna melt forever ago. I think that was the day Jerry was having tech issues, so it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, I would still love to do that. The world should be honored to watch Katie all day, any day. That's so sweet. Um, all right, let's get you down here again. Oh, is this a peel apart? Maybe. And I just need six ounces of goat cheese, and this is eight. So I'm going to ballpark that. And we get another container just to put the leftovers in. Okay, so let's have probably one of them. Uh, gosh, I miss stuff. Loretta, hey Katie, Tuna, and all I got here not too long ago, but I'm very tired. The past week has been a marathon, not a sprint with church stuff. Oh yeah. If if you're helping out with all of the Holy Week services, I know how that goes. I went. Um, we're still not having in-person services. They're still virtual on YouTube. But, you know, they need the people to do the service. So typically there's like four to six people in there doing the service together. So I actually went on Good Friday and helped with that service. Um, but I did not help with all of them. So I can't imagine how people that did feel. I did not have the energy to help with all of them. But at my church during Holy Week, we have we have a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday church uh, or service the week of Holy Week. So I get it. But it's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. You can just listen. No pressure to comment. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, because we're garnishing with the two different colored beets, I'm going to break the cheese up so that we've got quarters. You know what I'm saying? I think that'll be cute. They live streamed your human holiday holidays on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they had a live stream this morning for Easter. Like I said, I went Friday and helped with the one for Friday. I like Good Friday. I don't know why. I like all of Lent. like the dark and the contemplating how we can do better in life. It's a good spiritual practice for me. And just so you know, because I don't want to like get too religious on here. I firmly believe that whatever your spiritual path or lack thereof is, I have total respect for that. Um, as the Dalai Lama says, there are many roads that lead to the same destination. I just grew up Episcopalian and I happen to like it. It's what I'm comfortable with. And for me, I have to have some sort of regular spiritual practice or I forget to think about it. And for me, it's really good for my mental health. So. That was messy. Okay. <clears throat> oh, 
We're down to 20 seconds, guys. The end is in sight. Maybe um, do less potatoes. Um, okay, and I will show you everything at the end, so don't worry. Everything looks so good. I'm jealous. Oh, thanks. Were there lots of humans posting in the chat? Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Our congregation, um, people do post quite a bit in the chat during the church service, which is is weird, but it's cool that we can still kind of interact since we can't see each other. Oh, Tuna, I wasn't sure what quote you were saying at first, but yeah, that does remind me of Brandon's old neighbor. Um, okay. So we got the potatoes out. Let's turn our oven off. Um, I'm going to add our beautiful beets here. Oh, it's so pretty. I love my life. What a privilege. Awesome. <clears throat> Have to look at some of these old videos to see the neighbor. Um, she actually was not sweet, unfortunately, Loretta. She was very religious, but I think she may have had a mental illness. There were a lot of like really wild uh, verbal confrontations with Brandon, uh, uh, with Brandon. And she also used to do like really weird things out in the yard, like yelling and stuff at like two and three in the morning. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put our salad on the table and then I'm gonna come back and Move the camera so you can see me take the rabbit out. Okay. More rogue lettuce. We'll put that in the garbage disposal. Which is fitting because we we're talking about Brandon the garbage disposal, right? Okay, so first, oh, I will show you our shizé potatoes, and I'll show you the whole table spread, but yeah, look, look at that. That's a mess. <clears throat> okay, so we've got our potatoes. Let's plate our rabbit. That's cool. I can. And get it where you can see me. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Oh, that was amazing. Okay. How do I want to do this? Mm gonna fall off the bone. I know it. I'm gonna have problems. Don't fall apart, rub it. Stay together. Mm. Okay, so beat. I did it. Okay. Now 
I have to scoop out some of my veggies. There's a ladle to kind of dress the plates. I think I want a slotted spoon, perhaps. <clears throat> it's a lot of liquid for a plate. And we'll have plenty of veggies left over too, which is nice. But just for presentation, I want to put some all around. Okay, I'm gonna go get the table ready and then I'll bring you over to see our finished product. <clears throat> Cheesy potatoes. just going to get a fork and flip that one potato over because it's butt side up and I don't like the look of it. decoder for the just in case a religious human got upset at tuna for the shallow part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was good. Uh, it was good to clarify that. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I don't know how to do this. All right. And we're going to turn this around. I can see what I'm showing you. But that is it, guys. That is my Easter rabbit, rabbit paw bean. Those are our potatoes all gratin and our delicious country French salad. Oh, I forgot the pecans. Hold on. That's a messed up. Let's get the pecans. <clears throat> silly, silly me. I can't get on camera. Okay, that's it, guys. This is super weird with the two cameras and me being my own camera person. Um, 
but I had a lot of fun. I super appreciate everybody that stuck around. Um, gosh, we're almost at exactly four hours and 30 minutes. So again, I underestimated how slowly I cook, but whatever. Um, let me take my apron off. And I think Ben wants to say hi. And hanging out in the kitchen. Come here, bud. Oh. Say hello to the people. Yeah. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. And I don't know where Hurley is, so that's that. Yeah, it's over, Tuna. I gotta go eat now. You're just beginning. <laughs> no, Tuna. It's been four hours and 30 minutes. But yes, I love that. That's a great place to end, Tuna. It is not about how fast you cook, but how delicious the meal is. And I think, we'll show it one more time. But I think this is all going to be amazing. So now I have to go take a bunch of Instagram pictures because if you don't have a picture, it didn't happen. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I'm going to enjoy this meal with my family. Happy Easter, everyone. Thank you for sticking around. I'm going to close out. And... With that, I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I am hoping that you have a wonderful day.